All right, second part of Hollow Knight here. Second stream of Hollow Knight. There you go there, perfect. Um, I massively enjoyed the two hours we had on the first part of this. Um, this, I feel, second part is gonna be like figuring out some certain stuff, I feel like, figuring out how we're gonna flow through this game, uh, do things. I think, I think it should be a good second part here. I don't know how long we'll go tonight. Um, but, um, I had to resist. I feel like, uh, earlier, when I, after I did the first part, I was like, I had this strong urge to, like, go and look up, like, beginner tips or something. <coughs> and then I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's not do that. I'm going to try to go completely blind into this, figure out whatever the fuck I need to do. Um, so like I said, this, I feel like second part, our first part was massively me getting into the, uh, figuring out stuff. Stone door with a simple lock. This is what I'm curious about. Simple lock thing. Because we have this. Stone slab bearing the crest of the hollow nest. Hollow nest, capital city, has an insert on the back that would fit into a slot. Maybe we need more pieces to this thing? I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Maybe it'll make more sense later. Um, we do have, we are kind of building out the map, which is good though. Like I'm, I'm a fan of that. I think we just need to try going into areas that we just haven't hit yet, you know? things that we can see things we can try to do that's going to be what this stream is so anytime there's a section where it looks like there's a door i've just got to try to go oh i wanted to actually go up ascend ascend go up do the thing i'm going to stop into the shop and see hello <sighs> bapanada Bapanala, indeed. Let me lower audio here. <laughs> Alright, better. Uh, let's just go ahead and buy these last things, right? I mean... There. Right. I cleared them out. After more supplies? Uh, you've already bought so much. Unfortunately for now, you've cleaned us out of anything worth selling. Cornifer will no doubt be pleased. Though I do would wonder what do you plan to spend all that geo on? Yeah, what the fuck are you guys gonna do with this money? So if I go here, how do I hide key, zoom out markers? Oh, here we go. This is how you put down markers. Oh, look at this little system. Look at this little system. So I can literally just be like, bop, and then I can remove. I see. Okay. That's helpful. Bob Banata, dude. Alright, let's go in here. Let me adjust audio one more time here. Alright, slightly more. Alright. So, like I said, I'm going to just go to areas where it looks like we have not been to. And I'll just start marking things off, you know. Um, I feel like we beat the boss of this place. But I want to try to at least exhaust all options here. You see, so we'll start, we'll go clockwise, basically. I know there's that one area that's the, the mining area. But I just want to make sure there's nothing I can do there before I completely uh, mark it off, you know. I gotta get reacquainted with the fighting system here. Try to get, <laughs> try to get reacquainted with the fighting system. I forget, how do I do the energy blast thing? Tap, oh, okay. It's all circles. I'm curious, I'm gonna go in here and see if there's anything new. Any new developments. Black egg, what is this? 
is going on here? Wasn't there a person in here before? Where'd they go? Interesting. I'm curious. Hello, enemy. Goodbye, enemy. Ah, oh, shit. It's fucking chargy, man. Oh, God. Also, I didn't figure out if there's, like, a penalty for dying. I can't tell. I didn't. I wasn't paying enough attention to see if it was, like, um, like, Demon Souls-like. Or, like, you lose your money or something. Like, I wasn't paying enough attention to see if I was, like, could get my money back, you know? Or, like, if I lost it and then I was finding my... Oh, it's one of these fucking... This fucking guy. Let's test my ability to... Oh, we're going hard now, dude. I'm too good. What was this? I think there was a, a caterpillar dude back here. So I'm going to assume it's just the dead end. All right, I will check this out just to make sure the mining area here is a complete dead end. That the mining bug has nothing to say to me. Oh, bury the knight with her broken nail. Bury the lady lovely and pale. Bury the beast in his tattered gown. Then bury the beggar with his shining crown. Ha ha ha. Are you so surprised? I remember the second verse. Lots of time to think while I worked down here. Maybe I can even come up with some songs on my own. Alright. Well. Yeah. yeah. I don't have a map for the area. I don't know what's going on here. Whenever I jump off of it, which is strange. It's got to be some move or something that I get, you know? Some kind of downward thrust of some sort. Weird podium things. Okay, so this is truly a dead end, which is fine. We'll go to the right, or we'll go to the left, and then we'll head down. Keep going clockwise, just to make sure. We exhaust everything in this area. Because that's what we need to do. We need to make sure I'm not leaving some stone unturned, you know? Ah, shit, I didn't mean to do that. Go back up. Ah, oh, fuck, dude. Oh my god, I keep doing the same thing. Okay, so I'm supposed to go down anyway. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, well, that was not my greatest moments for sure. I hear a bug somewhere. There's like a, isn't that the caterpillar noise somewhere here? Is there like a hidden room somewhere? God, I can't make the fucking jump. There's gotta be like, why would they be doing
Oh, ha. Aha. I got it. I got... Oh, shit. I got it, son. <laughs> Hello, friend. Hello, friend. Good. That feels good. Found the secret. All right. Do I want to go down or right? That's the question. Um... Ah, oh, shit, what am I doing? That was bad on my part. I'll continue to go right. Oh, this fucking guy. Oh, that was bad use of that. forget what the sign meant. Oh, God. It's the fucking gross bug thing. Stop. 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 Oh, my God. I'm falling. Oh, this is really unfortunate. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh, God. Get out of here. Get out of here, little bugs. Oh, my God. I hate them. I hate them. Go away. Trying to collect my money prize here. And I got fair and square. Okay, that's nothing. I think we actually I got there already before. What a miss. What a whiff. I can't reach. There we go. Wow, I jumped back up there to get the money and then just completely missed. What is this whole area again? What is this thing? What does it say? A door with an open slot. A door. Oh, hey, oh. Look at that secret. Doesn't really help me with the door with the open slot, but I guess it's something. All right, so that's something we don't have access to or something. We just, we can't do it. It is what it is. What was over here? This was a boss, right? At some point. Did I not check what's over down here? Oh, I didn't. Look at this. Why do I keep hitting triangle? I keep hitting triangle to try to do like extra power moves. Oh, I can't. Can I not do that attack sideways or downwards? My bad. I keep trying to see if I can... I'm testing what I can do here. Oh, hello. Oh, Oro, you oaf. You wield your nail like a club. Esme, how much deeper do we have to go? Oh, what? Who are you? I see this old village. What a strange dream to have led me down here. If you hadn't found me, I don't think I would have known or ever woken. Oh, I'm Sly. I like how the name pops there in the bottom left. Uh, usually I live an uneventful life up in Dirtmouth. The air in these ruins doesn't agree with me, so I'd best be getting back. If you return above, come and see me. I'm probably the friendliest face left there. I can thank you properly for your good deed. You're exploring then? Very brave. Plenty of courageous wanderers have been lost to the hunger of these old caverns. You have your nail, though, and I can tell just by looking that you know how to wield it. All right, another NPC dude who's just minding his own business or something. 
But good to know. Good to know that we found it. Oh, I need to get o up here. <laughs> the fucking noise, dude. Wait, how do I get up then? How do I get back up? Oh, I see. This is our only option. Oh, I see what's going on, okay. So we open that back up. Interesting. And so then that will lead us back up. Um, okay. So can I not get to that dude until I get like a higher jump of some sort? Yeah, I need like some kind of double jumper. A higher jump. Very unfortunate. Alright, let's keep going. Let's go all the way. There's that area that's like all completely left of here. That might be something good. Oh, the jumpy dude. Fuck. Appreciate the spirit juice or whatever that is. Now let's go. <coughs> excuse me, all the way left and see what's going on over here. I'm trying to see why I didn't keep going. Oh, it's like the 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 houses or ghosts or whatever the fucking thing meant. Oh yeah, I can't get in there. That's unfortunate. Huh. Okay. Okay. So I guess we'll go a bit back up and then we'll... No, no releasing of bugs for you, sir. What a whiff. No bugs, bugs, bugs. So wait, how do I go up from here? Can I not go up from here? Oh, there's like a... Oh, my bad. Totally missed that. What does that sign mean? What does this sign mean? I'm gonna figure, try to remember what that pin is supposed to mean. Is it the the fucking the stag beetle deal? I think it is. Always rest when I can, I guess. Uh, hey, stag friend. Listen, it was a long time ago, but I remember when these highways and crossroads pulsed with life. These are the paths I first carried passengers through when I was young. Those travelers are long gone, yet still I remain. Now it seems it's just you and I and the furtive creatures scratching and squirming all around us. He can only take me back to Dirtmouth, right? I don't need to do that. One day I'll ride you, sir. Just not... Just not now. So I'll head back down here. We'll go all the way across. Oh, these fucking bug things. I just gotta be careful. That was a miss swipe on my part. Probably always good to be a grinding money of sorts. I'm 
trying to train myself to hit L for the map instead of hitting the like touch pad or pause button. One thing I did learn, so I, I, I said earlier that I was like, oh, um, you know, I'm not trying to keep, tra like, I didn't want to look up tips or something like I almost did or whatever, but one person I know who did play this game uh, was talking to me about how I was starting it or whatever, and they're like, one thing that's super helpful is you can press the one button, like, if I press the shoulder button, it does this and it brings us up if I hold it down. And it's like, oh, that's just cool. But you can press it, just quick press it twice, and you'll bring up the whole big thing, which is super handy. I must say. Oh, he got me. I got him. He got me. Very bad. I'm gonna rem try to remember what's over here. Oh, it's the, this is the, the spring. I remember, yeah. All right, we'll try to go down uh, left and see. Make sure that's completely closed off or not a, a viable way for me to go. Just down here. Why does it say there's a downward path here, but I don't see it? Uh oh. What does it mean? It must be what over is over that way, I see. Which, again, I can't get to. So, that makes sense. Uh, we'll go up now. Just to make sure. So this is where we had gotten the map before. We'll go up a bit more. Like how you just get sucked in. All right, I gotta get like over there. This is what I wanted. This is new, right? This seems new. Or not completely new, but it possibly something new. Oh, is it something I can't get to? Oh, this is where I was like, I need a Mario jump. A Mario wall jump, which I don't have. So. Okay, cool. All right, so I think we go up. I'm gonna go to Dirt Mouth just to see if that dude who said that he had something to give me or show me or something, um, see if it's something valuable. And if he is actually, in fact, up there. Ah, oh, shit, fuck. And then we'll, uh, ow, uh, and then we'll go. What a bad jump there. That's unfortunate. This is where the... These things are, yeah. Money. Thanks, sir. I think if I just come back every time I rescue someone... 
one of his, his children or something, I'll get some money, which is just like a little incentive, I guess. It's funny to me. I'm down with it. Alright, we'll see if we can do here. And then I'll go up to um, to Green Path and try to figure out, uh, you know, make sure I'm not... I mean, that's the only logical next place to go, but when I was checked there... Um, when I checked there quickly before, it seemed like there wasn't anywhere to go, but... I could be just making a mistake. You know. Mistakes aren't good. Is he in here as well? Is everyone just in here? <sighs> Bapanada. Bapanada. Is he in here? This is new, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, hello. I knew we'd meet again. How do you like my cozy little store? I've made myself pretty comfortable here selling old trinkets to travelers like yourself. If you're planning a trip below, I have several items that may improve your chance of survival. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Mask shard. This whole thing, merely a fragment of something larger. Still, maybe you can make some use of it. Mask shard. It's like some weird item. It's not very expensive. Vessel fragment. A piece of soul vessel. You know, those ghastly looking orb things. I don't really like the aura about it, but it's quite rare, so I'll have to charge you a high price. Great. Simple key. Simply a simple key. It will fit a variety of locks, which is useful if you like to poke around in places you don't belong. Interesting. Gathering swarm. Okay, so then we got some, some of the... Whatever the fucks they're called. Charm things. <laughs> That's all I remember them by. Um, Mr. Charm will make sure that any loose change finds its way back to you. Oh, I like that. Stalwart shell. Life in hollow ne hollow nest can be tough. I keep saying ha hollow nest. And I think it should be hollow nest, but the game is called Hollow Knight. Very confusing for a dumb person like myself. Uh, life in hollow nest can be tough. Always taking hits and getting knocked around. Charm grants you more time to recover after taking damage. Useful if you need to escape from a tight spot. Lumafly Lantern. What's more important, a light to guide your way or a friend who will stay by your side? Why not both? Take this bright little fellow as your companion. And you'll light your way through the thickest darkness. Rancid Egg. I found this under the counter. Some creature must have laid it here while I was stuck down in the ruins. So you could buy it. I won't miss its sour odor. <laughs> cool. Uh, let's buy the rancid egg, dude. What's the worst that could happen, you know? We'll go ahead and buy that as well. Whoa, what is this? Oh, is it like a... <coughs> it's probably like a... A heart piece from, like, Zelda, like you... Let me see, it probably goes here. Yeah. Yeah. So it would give you, like, basically probably an extra life. That makes sense. Fatty, rancid egg of an unknown creature emits a powerful stench of decay. Generally not considered edible. Interesting. It's in, like, the key item slot here. Okay. Sure. I need more notches. More uh, slots to put charms in. Let's look at our map. It's pretty good. All right, we gotta go green path though.
Uh, where is the... Right below here. Ah, that's unfortunate. Almost make that jump. All right, we got a more thoroughly explore green path. I'm thinking we beat like what seemed to be the boss of the last place. So I assume I need to just. Oh, oh! I forgot about the shrubby monsters. My bad. That is on me. Oh yeah, they explode. Almost forgot that part too. Ugh. Now I'm back down here. Sorry, like... Oh well. It's thorough exploring on my part. Ow, I keep pressing triangle thinking that's my blast attack. Curse me and why I'm doing that, I have no idea. And I missed. Oh my god. I'm dying here, dude. Not being careful. Not being careful. I like how you can walk with your map out. Oh, fuck this thing. God, uh enemies dude the traps i like how i was saying i like how you can walk but you can't jump while you're looking at your map i can't like which makes sense if you're gonna have a system that you can walk while, with your map out it makes sense to like kind of restrict that you can't like be hopping about all right allegedly there's a bench up here Yes. Huh. All right, we gotta figure this out. Figure. What is this? All right, doesn't seem like I can make this jump. I think we had seen some kind of NPC or something kind of hanging up up there. That we couldn't get to. Unless I'm supposed to have some kind of big jump at this point, but it doesn't seem like I have that. Oh fuck, these bird uh not birds, bugs like dive. Forgot. Die. Gross. All right, we got all that. Make sure you don't touch the green. All right, just said make sure to not touch the green and I just decidedly hopped on into that green. Jesus. A cool 5 Geo for destroying those things, though, so. I'll accept it. Maybe I'm still allowed to go down and I didn't notice it earlier? Oh, fuck. I thought it was fine. I thought it was just initial impact. You had to be careful of, but. Nope. That is not the case. Takes a while for that to dissipate. Oh, I see. Yeah. How do I get down there? How do I get. Do I go up and about? I do remember seeing this last time. Jesus. This bug. Oh! 
Oh. Cool. What is this? Oh, is this the note thing? Sorry, I missed you. If you're feeling lost, when I'll pop up to your store in Dartmouth to purchase a map of the area available for next time price. I think we've already gotten it. That's the thing. Um. Okay, so you know what I think is the case? Can I respawn enemies by leaving the room and then coming back? Oh, look at that. That's handy. Oh, that's actually good. That's what we need. Okay. Oh, that exactly clears this up. Okay, so I thought I was going to have to come here and um, bounce off the enemy to be able to um, get up to this platform to then be able to do the thing. And I was like, oh, I'm going to have to respawn the enemy and then be able to do it. But no, that makes a lot more sense. All right, there we go. Question solved. What is this notification on my phone? Oh, it's just foolishness. Okay. Uh, here we go. New area time, finally. What am I, 30 minutes in or so? It's only a matter of time. Smash! That nah, wasn't good. Alright, so we do have a new area. Which is exciting. Well, well, guess I'm not going that way. I don't mean to do that. Ooh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh my god, I'm getting hit. I'm getting abused. Okay. Give me money, give me money, give me money. I want to go back up. Yes, please. Because I want to go this way first. I want to see what is over here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, this seems certainly uninviting. Listen? Oh, I'll listen to him. Tiny squib, you are both fearless, and you are hunted like me. Do you feel that I can tell to talk, to grow, to understand? The ticket, my turn, I will aid you. At first, it just may seem difficult to learn. <laughs> but I learned a hunter will come to understand its words. Think of the depth of this enemy, say it be. There is a way to compare the mark of the hunter. There's no way in how I'm going to remember I gave that guy that voice. Taking the hunter's journal, press that to open the menu that navigates the journal pane. Also, that's rough on the voice. Uh, defeat enemies to add new entries to the journal and decipher the hunter's notes. Interesting, like a Pokedex, you say, sir? Let me try this again. Little Squib, you may have all come through creatures, but you were only just beginning. Don't delay, descend into the middle of this world, and hunt down the life you find. Thanks, Hunter. I appreciate you, and I'm glad I decided to explore this little area here. Journal. Oh my god, my voice. It's dead. I don't know why I did that. Crawl lid. Okay, so we can see all the enemies' names, which is great. Timid scavenger that crawls through the caverns looking for food. Dull and pathetic, hardly worth killing. Vengefly. Defeat 13 more to decipher the hunter's notes. Okay, so it is like a Pokedex where you've got to kill a certain amount to get, like, the notes, which is interesting. I like it. I like it. It's like another collection aspect. I'm not sure if anything important is said from this thing, but it could just be like an inch, like I said, collection and interesting, like, um, like collection and flavor text type system, you know? 
I mean, I might as well read these. Uh, Grizzer. Gruzer. Simple-minded creature that haphazardly buzzes around bumping into things. They only seem dimly aware of their surroundings, making them easy prey to cut your fangs on. What is it that guides them on their paths? It almost seems like they search for ways to die. <laughs> uh, Gru's mother. Mature Gruzer that carries its young in its belly attacks by hurling its huge body around. Tick Tick. Use its small sharp claws to climb along walls and roofs. 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 Spends its time tap, tap, tapping its way through the roads and caverns near the surface of this kingdom. If you're patient, you can wait for it to come to you and pick it off. Aspid Hunter. Best is prey by spitting curse of liquid, often hunts in packs. Aspid Mother. Carries the eggs of its young inside its belly, can hatch and birth its young as needed to deal with intruders. Uh, Aspid Hatchling. Recently birthed, these young Aspid instinctively swarm around intruders. Wandering Husk. The remains of a bug animated by a strange force. Yeah, it's like a zombie. Uh, wanders the road where it once lived. Husk Hornhead. The remains of bug animated by a strange force. Uses horn to attack any uninfected creature it finds. Leaping Husk. The remains of bug animated by a strange force. Will instinctively leap at uninfected creatures to attack them. Husk Boy. The remains of bug animated by a strange force. It aggressively attacks any uninfected creature it finds. Husk Warrior. The remains of bug animated by a strange force. Wields a nail, nail and shell. Great. Husk Guard, the remains of a great hollowness. Cross Guard, animated by a strange force. Instinct still drives it to guard its post against intruders. False Knight, a maggot driven mad by a strange force, inhabits a stolen armored shell. Yeah, we saw that. Weak creatures love to steal the strength of others. Their lives are brief and fearful. They yearn to have the power to dominate those who have dominated them. Okay. Balder. Rolls into a ball and propels itself in, uh, at intruders who wander into its territory. Aggressive, even when nearly newly born. Elder Balder. Elder Balder. Bulky and covered in thick plating. Retracts into itself when attacked. As they age, these creatures become too heavy and lumpy to roll around, roll around freely. Instead, they curl up and hide from the world. What do they think of in there, wrapped up inside of themselves? More carefree times, perhaps. The second unlocked thing is much more flavory text. The first one's more like strategy a bit, it seems. Weakling that covers itself in leaves to appear larger hides amongst the undergrowth. It's moss creep. Moss kin. Plant-like bug that charges at foes when close. Volatile moss skin. Plant-like bug swollen with infection releases deadly gas when threatened. Oh, it's like me. Fool eater. Carnivorous plant that snaps any creature that comes close. Squit. Charges at prey with its needle-like probos proboscis. Proboscis. My bad. Proboscis. Yes. And then shade. Echo of a previous life. Defeat it to retake its power and become whole. Each of us lives an imprint of something when we die. Stain on the world. I don't know how much longer this kingdom can bear the weight of so many past lives. Interesting. I'm sure that's like a collection-y thing. I'm sure you maybe it's tied to trophies as well by unlocking everything in there maybe you get stuff if you unlock a bunch of entries you know something like that glad i came back down here for this though big fan oh hello buddy hello buddy oh my god they're adorable make your collectibles in games adorable you know It makes them funner to, uh, more fun <laughs> to collect. Alright, here we go. Oh, God. Whoa, what is that? We gotta meet who that is. Okay, so it's gonna pop up and tell us when we get a new journal entry. Oh, shit, the game's still going. The game, it still be going. Um, that slow flying bug frequently discharges the acidic liquid stored in its round body. I think that's the new entry. I understand. A lot of enemies going on here. Alright, it releases diagonally. So you just kind of got to be careful here. Yep. 
Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. You're a gross bug. Oh, look at this secret. Uh, those who stray from the White King's Road shall face the law of Un. Alright. Not as cool of a secret as I was hoping. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button again. What is down here? Secret area. Whoa! Enemy, I can barely see. I love it. Hmm. I guess we explore this area first. You know? Nice. A bench. That is exactly what we need. Look at that. Look at this. Yeah, hunter little pin there. Great. Good. Good stuff. Update the map. Yep. The quill was very important. Very important. Oh god, what is this enemy? What is this that it's throwing at me? Oh god, I can't. I can't. Can I repel the attacks back at it? Oh, I can. I was like immediately like, how can I hit it if it... Uh, Gulka. Aggressive... I like that I can immediately hit the touchpad and get that. Aggressive plant like... Or plant life that retracts protectively when danger is near. Spits hard spiky balls when it foes are at a distance. It's like a Deku shrub thing from Zelda. Where it protects itself when it goes. Okay, so you can hold down to like get a down look here. Are these dead guys? Oh, hello, are you dead? I wasn't ready yet. To take this guy on. Yeah. How am I gonna? Well, I could just do that. Yeah. Oh, his body went into there. That's unfortunate. I can barely see. Oh, into the spikes you go, sir. All right, gotta be careful here. Into the spikes you go, sir. Oh, shit. Always gotta be moving. Always gotta be careful. What is this? What is it? What are you? What? But what are you? Oh my god, it's so dark. Oh, it's so dark. It's so scary. Ah, oh, shit. That sucks. All right. Well, gotta be careful here. <gasps> oh no. It's one of these things where I'm, I can't. Oh, if I had that light source thing, it'd probably be a lot more helpful here. Is that what this is gonna try to tell me? Like I need the light source thing to really. Fuck. All right, if I get hit one more time, I'll be, I'll head back. Fuck, 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 fuck. This isn't good that I'm down here without. That doesn't help. Oh, 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 God. Okay, I got to turn back. I don't want to die down here. I need a light source. I need the the bug with the light. Oh god. Uh oh. Now I'm really close to dying. This is very unfortunate. I could go back up and try to get the back to the bench. Oh. Uh. I have to dodge these things coming at me, though. Oh, the bush thing almost got me because I was... Speeding to the bench. Speeding to the bench! It's 
take a look. Yeah, stone. That building has something in it, and I feel I just need the light to get there. I need to buy the light from the dude. I'm gonna put a... Uh, how do I do this? Um, markers. I gotta make the decision here. Do I wanna put blue markers if I want to inspect again? Or red? I'm gonna go red or blue. I don't know colors. Blue. <laughs> Bam. Hopefully I remember. Blue, mark it down. Blue means inspect more. Come back at some point. I need to like grind out money or just save money to get the light source thing though. The bodies hit the the goo. Okay, I can't make this jump. I feel like there's been enough areas where it's like, I've played enough Metroidvanias in my life to know that at some point it feels like soon we'll probably get the ability to either double jump or jump higher or do something like that, you know? Oh, this is interesting. I feel like I'm gonna have to bounce off this guy. Either a bounce with a strike or I'm good to step on him, but I'm not trusting that I can just step on him, you know? Yep, that is what I thought. That's what I thought. Alright, I guess we're going down. Oh, don't have a map. <gasps> Fog Canyon. Oh, is this a brand new area? Probably is a brand new area. I'm gonna not be down here then. Because I probably need to do more in this before I go that way, you know. But good to know that that's down there, you know. Thank you. <laughs> Strange bug. There. Okay. And we can't get that way, so... It's either we get like a double jump or we get a high, higher jump or we get like a dashy jump if that makes sense Like we're seeing the NPC If I had to bet my life on it, right? I'd say that NPC that we've been seeing dashing around I bet somehow we get the ability to dash like it We saw it do and then we would be able to access areas like that, you know oh, shit. Like dashing is like such a, a Staple in these metroidvania platformy type games. It feels like an ability to dash of some sort. Okay, I bet I need to not just swing wildly and actually time these better. Because I'm getting punished. Alright, oh, I can No, don't kill me. I'm gonna go to the bench first. I'm gonna be smart. Damn it, I couldn't reach him. Get out of here, you gross thing. What a bad miss. If I hit this, will it let me know when one of these things get updated necessarily? I don't know. I don't think I've defeated enough to get the second update. If that makes sense. If what I'm saying makes sense. Uh, so yeah, this is like the only way to go. 
All right, another high jump like moment that we need that we don't have. Oh my God, sir. Oh my God. Okay, I see. Fuck, okay, we gotta kill him. This will not stand. Bam. Bam, moss charger. Timid creature that frightens away intruders by covering itself in huge clumps of moss. Yeah, I saw that. Huge clumps indeed. No, oh, I tried to make the jump. That was bad. It's, oh fuck. It's like so, I'm like so close. Oh, to making that jump. It is just out of reach. I'm like jumping right on the edge here. I just don't think I'm jumping high enough to actually get there. Oh, I'm trying to see if I can get it without using the... There we go. Did I get it? No. There we go, three hits once it's uncovered. Ah, shit, that was a bad time to charge up. Just get it down. Oh, there's our friend. There's our friend. We're chasing our friend here. Curious if I go so you can <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> excuse me there. It felt like there was something in my throat there for a second. Ugh. Okay, I was saying I thought I could dictate where I jumped down to, but I can't so or jump up to like the direction because I wanted to land on like this side for some reason but I could have just jumped I don't know why I was making that difficult uh, needlessly difficult you know all right I gotta see what's over here whoa what is that That's spooky. Some spiky shrubbery. Oh, darn. And I can't get... <coughs> Again, this looks like a dash type area. For like, if I got the ability to dash through stuff. It would make a lot more sense. To be able to get through here. A place like this. Oh, hello. Hey, this. Oh, fuck. Come on. Alright, well, now I'm just deciding to die a bunch. That's cool. Uh, it's been good. Uh, I'm still fairly early. Um, I guess I'm, like, three hours in, almost. Um, but it's good. I like, I like... It's aesthetic. I'm a fan of it so far. I've been told that it really opens up a lot more after like the first few hours. Like it's very, very uh, basic feeling at least uh, this early in, but I think that's probably by design or not. I mean, it's not basic, basic like in the most negative, oh my God, of sense. But, uh, I feel like it'll probably get a lot more difficult. I'm just trying not to die here. It's 
fucking diving bugs, dude. Kill that bush just so I can get back some of my spirit juice. Which I don't know if is the actual technical term for the thing to be able to heal, but I'm just calling it spirit juice. Oh god. My magic power. Is your um is your kitty still having a rough time with it? I feel sad every time I see the updates on your cat, I'm like, poor baby. <laughs> God, poor 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 animal situations. Uh it's not the only reason why, but like I've had pets, like family pets, uh back in my younger days and Whenever they go through like really rough times, it like fucking devastates me. And it's part of the reason, again, not the only reason, but part of the reason why I like have a trouble getting now like a pet that I would solely be responsible and solely get crushed for when it like, when bad things happen, like just super negatively affects me. <laughs> it's, it's sad to admit, but like it sucks. I really hope she, uh, is okay in the next coming days. Why did I go up and... I feel probably... I think there's probably two ways. The map dude probably had to me just go that way, but I'm finding essentially an alternate path here. Yeah, it's just an alternate path to the same thing. Interesting. Hmm. Ugh. Uh, I really hope. I hope, she, I hope she ends up being all right. How old is she? And it sucks when shit like that, like, just seems, like, so sudden. At least from what I've gathered, it just seems like... That just starts happening, you're like, what the fuck? Almost 13, Oh, <laughs> Poor old baby. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> oh god yeah I'm really hoping she starts feeling better in the next few days or so oh shit fuck oh this sucks this sucks to have both of these things coming at me Someday I'll get a pet and, uh, and I'll get devastated when anything happens, even anything slight. Cause I'm I'm a massive baby. Uh, ugh, oh, that shit sucks. So you just have to wait one or two weeks of like, of just seeing your your loved pet like struggle. And just hoping that in one to two weeks it gets better. That sucks. Oh wait, did I go all the way around here? 
<gasps> oh, I did. Look at that. I'd be crazy to jump over because then I'd have to go through the whole gauntlet again, but interesting enough. Do you have any, uh, <laughs> I mostly say this in jest, but I'd be glad to hear if you do have an answer. Do you have any fun Valentine's Day <laughs> plans for tomorrow? No more gacha. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. God, it's all, I, I saw when you had put, like, how expensive it was or whatever. It sucks. It sucks that, like, pet care when, like, the unexpected happens. It ends up just, like... <sighs> it's like adding insult to injury. Like, you have this pet that you have that you take care of and that you fucking love and adore. And it's like, oh shit, if you want to keep, if you want to, if you want to get the most care you can get, it's going to be fucking hella expensive. It sucks. Insult to injury for sure. Oh yeah, you should probably look into pet insurance. The, um, the last family dog that we had, that my mom, it was mostly my mom's dog. Uh, that she had gotten to replace another dog that had passed away when uh, she was having certain stuff happen to her um, my mom was like I should look into pet insurance I'm like yeah you should do that and it ended up being pretty from what I could tell or remember it was hugely beneficial yeah yeah ugh it's sad All right, I need to get to that bench area. I'm kind of going about this in a weird order, but... Well, I don't know if I can get up there to go to the bench. Oh, I can do it like this. Yeah, it's pretty steep. <coughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, God. It sucks. It sucks because you're at that mercy where you're just like, well, what else am I supposed to do? Like, I can just, like... If I don't pay it, <coughs> like... The, the options are very limited in that case, and it just sucks. It sucks. Taking a weird path, but I'll just go down. Oh, that sucks. That's so stupid. Get out of here. Yeah, I'll just go down and then. No, shit, fuck, no, please. Please. <coughs> hmm. That was like a secret or something, I think. Yes. Money. It's not much money, but... Toll machine with the symbol of a bench. Insert geo. Yeah, sure. I want I want to pay for bench. Let me bench, please. 
All right, so the update to the map. Yeah, that's good. I still kind of want to go down and then inspect what's in that bottom left area before we go up, but. Makes sense. I'm like striking every wall just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Swipe there. Oh, hey, money. Geo. I get the timing on that downward swipe slightly better at some point. over here I don't think I can make that jump that seems like a trap if I've ever seen one hmm oh well oh I can't make the jump what am I thinking what am I saying I don't know anything dude Let's see. I'm, I'm checking the map like I'm, I'm gonna find something. Ah, oh, shit. What is this? Oh. I can't get to it. There's a switch on the other side. Alright, so apparently I can come down from the the top of that at some point, I would assume. I would assume that's what that's saying to me. Uh-oh, big bug. Uh, oh, shit. That was not what I meant to do. That's also not what I meant to do. Oh, here we go. Oh, I'm supposed to probably bounce off of him. Look at that. I don't actually know what I accomplished by doing that because there's literally nowhere to go. But at least I proved that I could do that. So that's something. Just took a couple hits for doing it. Less than ideal. I need some kind of other ability or something. I need a dash. I need a Metroidvania dash. Or double jump. Okay, I don't know why I did that. I'm not supposed to be here. Constantly checking my map. I'm the t I'm that I am that type of person who plays metroidvania like games where i'm constantly if i have a map i'm constantly checking just because i'm so directionally challenged where like i need to make sure i'm not like taking a wrong turn and then have to do like the stupid things all over again if I'm not constantly checking my map, I am going to take a very bad wrong turn and have to just delay. It's part of the reason why sometimes I'm so slow to play games is because I'm doing <laughs> so much backtracking because I'm like so bad. All right, map update. I do like the system in this game. This game has some interesting systems for the Metroidvania thing where you have to like buy the map and then you only get the map parts updated when you sit on a bench to like then mark up the map and you've got to buy the quill to even be able to mark up the map like i like that system i thought at first it was going to be like annoying but i think it actually is somewhat interesting so i like that i'm a fan 
Ah, oh, shit. Out of here. Ow. Goodbye. Alright. I, I assume we're probably gonna see that NPC. Ah, oh, shit, dude. That NPC we saw dashing around somewhere somewhere up here and I assume we're gonna get the dash from it that's what my gut is saying oh that was stupid that was bad on my part so back at me any Valentine's Day plans oh yeah totally I'm going to uh, take my very real girlfriend that I definitely do have currently. Uh, we're going to first go to a very packed movie theater uh, that is hopefully super booked and super popular to seek out some movie that's out, whatever that may be. Uh, but we're not going to take our individual cars. We're going to first get onto a very packed uh, bus. And I hope no one on the bus is wearing their masks uh just it'll just be great uh so public transport no masks everyone on the bus to this very crowded theater to go see some shitty movie uh and then we're gonna go to dinner somewhere where again hopefully the rules are that no one's allowed to wear a mask and then i'm gonna we're probably gonna go to a packed bar later that night to then go i don't know fucking stupid joke no i've got no plans uh no no i have to call my mom because her birthday lies on valentine's day every year obviously uh so i'll be talking to her uh that's the the closest thing <laughs> that's the closest thing i have to uh plans for tomorrow uh because she's the most important valentine um it's funny though i think this is the first year in quite some time where i'm not even actually like even vaguely like seeing anyone or anything first valentine's day in a while i'd say um so like i have no there's literally like no expectations on my part to like do anything which is which is obviously probably for the best um because if I did, I'd, it would obviously be super extremely low-key. Like, I'm not... Even if I was with someone or seeing someone currently, like, I'd be like, I'm not going to go anywhere. Like, I'm still going to... Like, I'm not going to do anything. It's not worth it. It's not worth it right now. Um, so there's that. But, yeah. First year in a while where, like, I don't have, like, anything to do. Which I'm not lamenting at all. Like, I don't care. Uh... I know that sounds like extremely like something someone who extremely does care would say. Uh, <laughs> so there's that. But um, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just interesting. It's different. I always get nervous around Valentine's Days when I was seeing someone or something because there is that annoyance. Like, just Valentine's Day is just, it is what it is. Uh, like my best friend, whose wedding I went to last year, him and his girlfriend, or I guess now wife, uh, they have like a strict like we don't celebrate valentine's day because that's just the type of person they are and on one hand i'm like oh that's you know pretty good pretty progressive of you that's cool or whatever on the other hand i'm like uh you can't just like enjoy it for the stupid day that it is uh but it is what it is i've only ever not been single Valentine's day <laughs> it's overrated uh i've had i've had I mean, I should say I've had, you know, in theory, like good Valentine's days when I've been dating someone or seeing someone at the time. I've had ones that just go end up not being great. Um, they're just they are what they are. And it just really depends on like depending on who you're seeing and what level of, like relationship you're in. Like it can be a very chill, cool day. Or if you're seeing someone or you have like these weird expectations, it just is a bummer of a day. Uh, so it is what it is uh I, like i said i gotta call the old mom and then uh i have plenty of alcohol for tomorrow so 
Yeah, pressure sucks. Pressure sucks. Because I can say, I can legitimately say I've dated people in the past where maybe unintentionally on their part, <coughs> but definitely I felt it where I was like, if I don't bring it on this day or have some really good plan, like, that's not a good option. And that shit sucks. Like, and then I've had those days on those pressured days where like things go really great or times where things have been not great <coughs> and it sucks because then it's just not fun uh but you know god i remember having like being like a poor college student and feeling like the pressure of trying to do stuff on uh valentine's days there's one valentine's day that i always go back to story-wise which was hilarious um it was back my senior year of college and i was dating someone and my friend who i was living with great year uh he was seeing someone as well at the time and we were the four of us were at our apartment at that point uh and the day was not going according to like my plan and i was feeling the pressure and it was like i would say it's like the last time in my life which was years ago last time in my life where i literally like lost my cool where everything was going wrong or whatever uh, and it was me and my friend and we lived in an apartment and I remember like the night was just bad and probably t in <coughs> Probably in her defense uh, She probably was like seeing that I was having like problems or stuff just like not having a fun time with the night and uh, we we're in college or whatever and uh, I remember <laughs> it got to the end of the night and like my my friend and his girlfriend were in like the main room and my girlfriend at the time was in my bedroom and we were just like we were just like hang out for the rest of the night because it was like the dinner plans for whatever reason felt like weren't great like I, I forget exactly what it was but like either the place we went to ended up sucking or something and <laughs> it's funny because I remember this and now I've asked recently like I was asking my friend like does he remember these moments and he's like I kind of don't remember it but uh it definitely did happen uh and there was a moment where i was already pissed about everything and i went to the kitchen to go fill uh one of those water like brita water pil pitchers that we had from the fridge i tried to fill it with water and i was already like on edge uh <laughs> it's such a silly thing looking back i find it very funny but uh i was trying to fill the water pitcher thing but because it was uh, two guys who were living in an apartment um we had a bunch of dishes in the sink and for some reason, I was just pissed about that as well. <laughs> and I was trying to fill the water pitcher in the sink. And I couldn't really, like, get the water into the pitcher. And then, like, somehow the lid or the pitcher itself, like, I accidentally dropped it or something into, like, this pool of, like, dirty water and dishes and shit. And it all, like, when I was just trying to refill the water thing. And it was just at the end of the night where I was just pissed about everything. <laughs> And I, <laughs> I just let it go. And I like the two of them in the main room were seeing me struggle with this thing and it dropped and they were looking at me and I was just pissed. And I was like, I forget exactly what I said because it was years ago at this point. Uh, but I said, you fucking fill this thing up. And I just kind of like stormed out of the kitchen <laughs> into my room. And I literally like slammed the door to my bedroom. My girlfriend was in the room and the i had like a clock on my wall and the clock like fell down uh and it like broke a bit like pieces shattered off of it and it was a clock that my girlfriend had actually gotten me the christmas before the valentine's day uh and so i felt extremely bad for a lot of reasons one i lost my cool obviously feel bad two in front of my best friend and his girlfriend who were just having a time on the kitchen or you know in the main room and saw me freak out and then I stormed in my room, slammed the door, which is very aggressive, especially for someone like me. Uh, and then I broke this clock thing that was gifted to me from my girlfriend just a month and a half earlier uh, from me slamming the door. And I remember just feeling extreme. I felt extremely embarrassed and extremely bad about the whole situation. And I can easily say that was the last time in my life. And that was back in 20... I guess it would have been 2015 when the last time I like really just lost my cool and was just like so upset about different things but it was all built because it was like I felt extremely pressured like it was senior year of college 
it was like it was like the last like college year uh my girlfriend i think graduated early at that point so she had made the trip back to the where we were at where i was finishing school um and like i said i was just mad about stuff and then i feel bad felt bad because i took out the aggression kind of on my friend <laughs> where i was like you fucking filled up <laughs> i was just like <laughs> Okay, wait. I can't believe no one washed dishes before they come, came over. Dis, you have to understand. It was me and my friend. We were... it That year where we lived together... You know there's like that stigma where it's like never room with like your best friend because like something wrong is going to happen and then you're going to be upset. Like that shit didn't happen. Like that year, it was my senior year and he took a year off college basically and like failed some classes. So it was technically like his junior year at that point but like it was such a great year i remember it was so fun living with him for that year and it was like my senior year and i was finishing up certain classes and stuff um it was great but like it's not hard to think like that there's just the dish that some dishes are in the sink because we would make food a lot of the time and then we would just be super bad at just cleaning shit uh especially when it came to dishes but um and we're, we were college students so it was what it is uh but yeah i felt extreme after that night like to this day i feel really embarrassed about lo like looking back at it uh and like it was traumatic to me now and it's funny when i recount the story and he's like i barely remember that and i'm like oh god i remember it vividly uh but yeah i was just like not feeling it that night it was just bad um because that was the start of the year where things really ended up being went south for me and that girl whose relationship I was in uh, in with. Like, that was the start. Not that was, like, kicked off <laughs> the things going south, but it was right towards the beginning of things starting to go south. So, like, I've probably felt a lot of pressure <coughs> for that kind of thing. But, yeah, I was just a bad ball of energy at that point um because once i moved for college like i was a lot more chill and mellow like i just became a lot more chill and mellow person in like high school there were especially early in high school and as like as a kid i was a lot more high strung and stuff and then i just kind of mellowed out towards the end of high school and then into college like i just grew up and stuff but it was very much like return to form like i freaked out and was like not great not a great day not a great day but uh no you're definitely just in uh <laughs> laughing at it because it is funny it's a funny story uh it's just embarrassing when i look back at it and that's to say uh valentine's day can uh If you ever get into a relationship at the time that Valentine's Day rolls around, and if you're saying you've never had been in one during Valentine's Day, though, you definitely deserve to, like, get just fucking spoiled then. Like, you need to put the pressure on these people and be like, you need to explain that to them and be like, I've never had, like, the Valentine's Day experience. And then... Just enjoy it for, like, one year. I need to figure out... Oh, God. What is this? Oh, God! It's an old man. It's an old man. It's a bearded bug. He's taking the swipes. He's got a... Sw oh, God. What is this? Oh, God. Oh, I'm gonna die if I'm not careful here. Huh! Nah, oh, shit, I'm being... Oh, that sucks so bad. Oh, he interrupted the fucking thing. All right, well. Oh, look at that. Oh, the clutch. Moss Knight, protector of the green path, trained in the ways of the nail and the shell. Boom. I'm about to die. But boom, I win. There's going to be like some stupid bug that touches me and I'm going to die. It's not going to be the fucking 
the actual boss that I just destroyed. Oh my god, that thing almost got me. Oh boy. Oh boy. What's up here? I need a bench. Badly. I could backtrack to get the bench, but... Huh, huh. Oh, I'm in like some area. Oh god. Can I get back up? Slowly restoring my health here. It's like we're back in the rocky area. We're like above the green path. God, I just remember like being like like it was spurred on by nothing. But them seeing me struggle with the water pitcher and then the thing just fall into the sink of dirty water and dishes and me just be like, you fucking fill this thing up. <laughs> and then me storming out <laughs> and slamming the door. Like, I clearly d had no idea what I was supposed to do to vent, like, my fr frustration at that point. But I was clearly frustrated. <laughs> I was... <laughs> Oh boy, dude. I, I didn't know what to do. I was not feeling good. Wow, I can't believe I missed the jump twice now. You fucking fill this thing up. <laughs> it was like I was looking for something to be upset about. It's great. What is this area? What am, where am I? Where? I don't like have see, and then, but the whole map system in this game is where, like, if you're in an area where you don't, like, even have the map technically for it, it'll bring that up, where it's like, you don't have the map for this area, so we're not gonna show you anything, and it's like, it's like scary almost, where you're just like, I don't. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, dude. That's unfair. Oh, I'll tell you what I did over the last three days. So Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I watched the on Netflix, the to the boys that I loved or whatever the fuck they're called. I watched all three movies over the last three days for some reason. And I watched the, the one that came out just like in the last day or two. I watched that tonight. Because for some reason, I just picked the weirdest times to watch things for for some reason. So there's that. I got those out of the way before actual Valentine's Day. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, let's see. This is going to be another case where I need, like, the dash to, like, some kind of dash to, like, get across that because I'm not getting across it let's this is what leads me to believe that the next ability I'm gonna get is some kind of dash because this would allow me to get to this next area whatever that is and like see a lot of those unlocked areas um yeah Get out of here, bugs. I don't want you. I hear someone grunting. And some squishing noises. That's no good. Oh my god! Help him! Oh my god. Oh, I missed. Ugh. Oh, fuck. No, don't release these bugs, please. Oh, God. Oh, I can't be missing with this, though. Come on, Austin. Oh, my God. I keep missing. I'm wasting the spirit juice. 
There we go. There we go. Look at that. Give me the money. Man, everyone was telling me that this game is super difficult or whatever. I think this is just reason to believe that I'm just back good at video games, dude. Like, it's been a while on the channel for me to play a game that actually somewhat tests my ability in video games. Like, in the slightest, even. Like, I've been, I feel like I've been doing a lot of, like, visual novels and just story games where I'm just kind of reading. <laughs> it's been a while on the channel since I've done, like, let's see how good you are. Uh, just what do you think you're doing? You dare to come between me and my prey? Yeah, dude, you were dead. Uh, is it a habit of yours to scurry about getting in the way of causing bother? Zote the Mighty. Know this, Kerr. I am Zote the Mighty, a knight of great renown. Cross me again and you'll find out why they call my weapon Life Ender. Life Ender. What are you still bothering me for? I'm a knight. I'm not interested in your childish games. I need my rest. Be gone, lest I draw my nail. I didn't try to talk to him again. I was I just accidentally hit up. But all right, I won't talk to you. Rude. Save your life. Save your life. What is that enemy down there? Ah, shit, it's one of these things. There's, like, less room here. I'm spitting shit at me. Ow. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, God. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, there's two of them. <laughs> okay. So that is the case. Oh, I see. So you do lose all your money when you die. So it is like Dark Souls in that sense. Okay. Question answered. And I was just done, like, talking about how good I am at games. And then I'm like, oh, God, there's two enemies. I'm dead. It's very embarrassing. All right, well, I got to make my way back up there then to get it. not even bother with him oh damn it I needed to like go to the right to open up this gate thing god damn it so now I have to go up and around like I was doing earlier just lengthen everything <sighs> Fuck it. oh it's like taking me back to Bloodborne where like I didn't open the gate, so now I gotta go around the whole fucking thing again. Uh, the greater mind once dreamed of leaf and cast these caverns so. In every bush and every vine, the mind of Oon reveals itself to us. Okay. Oh, I thought I could hear the bug. What is this? Uh, vengeful -like king, patriarch of a vengeful colony, swoops at intruders and cries out for reinforcements if threatened. Yeah, we saw that. Here we go, live seed. Small scuttling seed filled with lifeblood, which can be uh, extracted and consumed for its healthful properties. Yeah. Okay, so I have extra life here to battle against the, uh... the two enemies I saw earlier, but I got a circle all around. So it's not really helpful. Ugh. i fucking fight this thing again. Uh. Bam, dude. The spear bomb, great attack. You just gotta balance. 
using that and recovering health. Oh, the, um, something got updated. What is it? The, this thing, probably. I used to think these things were merely ambling plants. When I learned they were actually living creatures, I began to kill them on sight. This is the nature of the hunt. Yeah. Okay, so it does pop up when the the flavor text uh, gets updated. Ah, oh, shit. All right, I'm really trying very careful not to get hit so I can keep this extra health for those two dudes that will be there. The two dudes. All right, here we go. We're in it. I make sure I get my uh, venge or the spirit thing. Damn it, dude! Fucking! I'm trying to just get this other one activated so I can hit it with these as well. Fuck! Yes. Yes! Give me this money. There we go. Over a thousand. I came from there, right? Yeah, I need to go like down. Is this a thing? No. Is this a thing? No. I go down more? Oh. Yeah. Ah, shit. Oh, God. That scared me. I got spooked. Damn it. This thing. God, so close. Got him. Hmm. Oh, there's the thing I wanted to knock down. Can I get there? How do I? Gotta go make sure I don't forget that. <coughs> Just like missing a, a gate you got open, you know? There we go, look at that. So in theory, yes, look at that. Perfect. Um, I said the stag beetle might be down here according to that sign so let me do that yes it's mr. stag and now our map is updated cool toll machine with the symbol of a stag insert geo sure All of it. Yeah, no worries. <coughs> All right. Access to bug. Access to big bug. All right, I think I can go. I think this feels like it's going to be a boss then. The boss of this area green whatever it's called green path in the tree go in the tree really test the skills here come no closer ghost 
I've seen you creeping through the undergrowth, stalking me. This old kingdom, a terrible thing awakens. I can smell it in the air. I know what you are. I know what you tried to do. I can't allow it. Ah, shit. Hornet. Fuck. All right, here I go. Oh, God. No. Nope. Don't try to touch it there. Heal up. Just be careful. Oh. Oh, it's got a fucking thing. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I tried to heal. I tried to heal. Oh, boy. Okay. Alright. Well, at least the, uh... The bench is right next to it. That's very nice of the game. Get back in me. Here we go. Got this. I'm gonna beat you. Ha. 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 Bam. Oh, shit. I forgot the length of that attack. Oh, that's a, two bad hits in a row there. Oh, missing on that sucks. For sure. Did I win? Oh, we're faked out. Damn it. Restore health here. No, fuck. No, 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 no. I got played by the, uh, I thought like it was, I thought I defeated. Oh, okay. I can't be dying too many times to this when I was talking so much shit about how good I am at this. Ooh, buddy. Here we go. Yeah, I feel like we're going to get some kind of dash attack from this thing. It just feels right. That attack, dude. You gotta know it's coming because you either gotta hop oh, like far away from it or in between and get ready to jump back. Damn it. Oh, I think I got two hits there on that. That was good because of the way it dashed back. Oh my god. That sucks. That sucks. That sucks. It got... Oh. That's fine. We get better. walking noise I like the name Hornet that's very good oh a bad first hit against me. No, I shouldn't have tried to get that. Alright. I will also restore health here. That is my cue. Yes. 
Yes, hit again. Oh, this, this round feels a lot better. I feel I've got this. Alright, that wasn't great. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck. Bam. Yes. Yes! Yes! Son! Oh, well, you're gone. What is this? Taking the Mothwing Cloak. Press R2 to dash for- I knew it was a dash. Easy to detect. Uh, press R2 to dash forward. Use the cloak to dash quickly along the ground or through the air. R2. L2, R2, okay. Let's test it out. Ow, what the hell? Would it seek to break the seals? They cannot be undone. They must be undone. Let us sleep, little shadow. Return to your darkness. Allow us our peace. The fuck is this? Whoa! Whoa! I was just dashing like a... Having fun. And that happened. Can do it more than once in the air. Doesn't look like it. You can do it once, and then once you hit the ground, you can. But it doesn't take any resource up, and it's a nice like if you need to dash. If you just want to move fast, there's that at least. So that's cool. Um, but yeah, it's the dash that I've been. It's just the dash I'm looking for. Oh, see, and then it's going to teach you how to use this effectively. I see. And then if you want to get this cache of geos, you also have to use dash. That's smart. I like systems like that that are smart. Yeah, she's bittersweet. She knocks me off of my feet. Something, something, something. Eh, eh, eh. She's just the cache I'm looking for. Or... All right, look at that, yeah. And then we can get back. Oh, this is completely locked off. Well. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. Couldn't really see where I was dashing to. Can I get over here? Huh? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Must see what is over here. Hmm. Interesting. Lake of Oon. Lake of Oon. Yeah, sure. Well, who are you? Friend or foe? Rest? Yeah. Oh, nice. It's like a weird bench. Oh, I see. It's just its own little thing. Nah, me no biz. Oh, hello there. Seems you both tread far from the path. I can hardly believe those dusty old highways led to such a lush and lively place. This building suggests some form of worship, though its idol has clearly been long forgotten. Doubles equally well for a moment's respite. 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 Yeah, but don't you have anything to... Nah, me no biz. I saw a strange fellow out there. He seemed quite taken by the lake. I planned to offer greetings, though figured I'd first tend to my nail on chance of meeting goes poorly. Hmm. Well. Okay. Oh, hello. Render foe? Foe. Still foe. Into the lake you go! Look at that. 
push him into there, you know? Just give him the old shove into the poison thing. <laughs> Just give me the old one, two. All right, well, that unlocks a lot of areas, I feel, with the dash that we have. Uh, both here in Green Path and then back in the Forgotten Crossroads as well. Um, so I feel as if this game is going to start opening up massively with all this. Uh, I do want to get back to... Well, I can allegedly just get to the stag beetle dude. And uh, go back to the top area. If that makes sense. Oh, this dashing is addictive. I wonder if you have invincibility frames when you dash. That I'd be curious to test out here. If it's easy to test out, I'm not sure. No, you do not have invincibility frames when you dash. Lesson learned. <laughs> Good to know now, though, before I do something dumb. Alright, I guess this might be our first time using this thing. My, this place has much changed since I last saw it. The greenery grows so wild, the station's like to be consumed by it. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, forgotten dirt mouth, please. I'm gonna go buy the light up bug. Oh, look at this. This is our first time seeing this little cutscene. Oh, it's great. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it spits us out, like, right here. That's cool. Or wait, where is this putting us? What does this do? Oh, is this where I think it is? Oh, look at that. I, it was a thing here that we... We didn't even know existed here. Interesting. Okay, so that's... Alright, so that's where it spits you out. Good to know. Oh, we can buy another mask shard. So we just get a bunch of mash shards from this dude. Piece of soul vessel. You know, those ghastly looking orb things. I don't really like the aura about it, but it's quite rare. So I'll have to charge you. Wait, why does the lantern cost that much? Did the, la <coughs> Did the lantern cost this much earlier? And I just didn't notice its steep price? Oh, it's so expensive, dude. I thought I was going to be able to go out and just buy... Simple key. Vessel fragment. What does vessel fragment mean? I guess maybe we'll find out here. What is vessel fragment? Oh, Hornet. Here we go. Skilled protector of... Hallowness ruins wields a needle and thread. Yeah. Yeah. Charms. Uh, collect three more to strengthen your shell and protect yourself from damage. Uh, collect two more to form a full vessel, allowing you to carry more soul. Carry more soul. Oh, I see. So vessel fragment will allow me to carry more soul. Okay. That makes sense. Are you late? Uh, <laughs> slightly. I'm probably about to end here for the night here in just a bit. Just a second. Uh, we don't know what the rancid egg does. We have this and we can dash now. Alright, good progress though. Uh, well you missed like one hour of Odd Man Out. I watched Odd Man Out, uh, 
for the, like the first hour. Uh, so you miss like two hours of Hollow Knight. Um, I basically did the whole. Let me get to the map here. I did most of Green Path. I figured out what to do in Green Path, and I got to the boss. So now I have, I have the dash that we were talking about. The very typical Metroidvania dash, which is now going to unlock a lot of. Like, I already know on the map, there's a lot of areas that we can get to now with the dash. So, uh, yeah. Both here in the Forgotten Crossroads section and in Green Path. So, um, we're going to be able to go. Yeah, exactly. Finally, the dash. It's like, it was such an obvious thing, especially in Green Path when I was getting to the boss's area. I was like, oh, this, this seems like an area. There was like a lot of places where if I had like a second jump or a dash, I was like, oh, I would be able to get there. And I was like, I've got to probably get dash when I beat the boss. Uh, I guess I could show you the boss. It was this, which seems like an important character and I'm probably going to have to fight multiple times. Pretty dope design. If I say so myself. Oh, here we go. You there, why are you skulking about in the shadows? Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. I am Zote the Mighty, a knight of great renown. Tremble before me. Hornet, you know that character? How do you know that character? Oh, you also missed... Uh, <coughs> I told a great uh, Valentine's Day story uh, from earlier in my youth. So you missed that. That was a good story. Um, I'm Zote the Mighty, a knight of great renown. Tremble before me. While you were hiding here in your dingy little village, I ventured into the dark pit below us and slew a great beast in a sharp mandibles and atrocious manners. Yes, yes, all glory to me. But I don't have time for your adulation. I must rest and prepare for my next journey down. What a crotchety old man who sucks. Who is this? Santa. Meh. 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 Pale thing, you wear that nail with ease. You wear that nail? Yeah, okay. If you're in search of combat, you'll find no great warriors in this decaying burrow. I've heard an arena exists somewhere below. One built for our like. Meet me there and we'll test what skills you possess. I'll be heading down soon. Come and find me if you dare. It's as iconic as the main character. I just don't know shit. I kept, I've kept myself pretty unknowledgeable of the things in this game, so I didn't know. Uh, so yeah, was it two hours the first time we played this? Now basically just two hours of this. Um, so that's two plus two equals four. Basic math, and we've essentially conquered and have beaten both the first area and basically the second area and now we have dash and we'll be able to essentially get to a lot of these areas that are like in the forgotten crossroads there's like those doors that we can't get through i think with dash we can do so good stuff good stuff um you apparently know more than me sir you know more than me sir <clears throat> I clear my throat. Alright, but yeah. I'll probably part ways here for the night. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow at some point. Maybe two streams tomorrow. Maybe a day stream and a night stream, maybe. I don't know. I would say there's a chance. Not a great chance, but a small chance, I'd say. Maybe just one stream, though. Uh, But I'll part ways. I, w I need to do other things tonight before I pass out, so... Uh, enjoy your Saturday night here. Take it easy. I will, I assume, see you another day. Enjoy your Valentine's Day coming up. Whether it be with someone else or by yourself, enjoy it. And uh, I will see you, see you another time. Take care.